Virgo season. <laughs> Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> I do not have my permit. <laughs> what? what? But not for the reasons you expect. What? Oh, my God. What? So my what full happened? intentions today were to come on the show and oh be like, my God. boom, I got my permit today. Mm-hmm. Me being a Virgo is usually on top of things. Okay. I have somehow managed to lose my initial permit that I need in order to take the knowledge test. See, they don't do things like we do in New York where you just roll up there oh and make your appointment God. and be like, I have an ID. I've studied. Let's do this. Right, right. You have to pay for an initial permit and then you can schedule your knowledge test. <laughs> I don't know where my initial permit is. I thought they would be able to pull me up in the system. Oh, my God. And they couldn't. So Jade. I had to come back home. Jade. But, Jade. but, but, uh huh. I was able to get myself on the schedule for next month. For next month? What are they doing? What are they doing? Why do you need to wait until next month? What is Literally, happening? Literally, I went to see when the next available appointment was. No. Because if it no was way. tomorrow, I nah. could have easily said... Boom, I'll go tomorrow. Because it's not far from my house. You playing in my face, Jade. You I are wish playing I were. in my face. I wish I w- <laughs> You know how many people I texted this morning on my way out of the DMV to be like, um... Oh, my God. I know you was waiting for me to tell you whether I passed or failed. Nothing happened because I'm on my way home. Unbelievable. So, I was in too. Like, when I tell you I had my whole thing worked out, I was like, boom. I'm going to pass, right? <laughs> Uh huh. Ryan don't even know that today's the day. I did. So as soon as we start the show, mm. I'm gonna be like, "Bam!" Uh huh. What's this, Ryan? What that say across the top? <laughs> Read it for the listeners, mm. please. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. you would have been like, "Uh," and then you would have had a moment. Oh, that's how I would have reacted. That's- yeah, you'd have been like, "Oh," and then I'd have been like, <laughs> <laughs> "That's how that was gonna go down." I'm glad to um, see how you see me. Uh, yeah, you know. I, I, I see. And I see. So no, that's not what's happening. The New Jersey DMV played in my face. Well, I really played in this. I don't know where my initial permit is. So how are you going to do it next month if you don't know where it is? You were there. Why didn't you just get another one? Because I could not. Like I said, so can I make an appointment right now since I'm here to get my initial permit? She told me no. So how are you going to do this, Jade? So I had to go online and make an appointment for my initial permit and at the same time schedule my exam that same day. So when are you going to get this initial permit? Next month. I'm not telling you no days like I'm not telling you no days right now. You're going to get the initial permit next month and take the test next month? And take the test, the knowledge test. The same time? The initial permit is not a test. It's literally me going in with my paperwork saying this is who I am. They're going to make me take another picture and they're going to hand me a receipt. Then I'm going to turn around and go take the test. At the same time? Yeah, this like right after. Uh, I got to do okay. the first one and mm-hmm. then I got to do the second one. Okay. All right. So, mm-hmm. just thought you would like to know. Believe it when I see it. Mm-hmm. Don't play in my face. <laughs> Who's, you the one playing so, in my I'm face. I'm not playing in nobody's face. <laughs> what are you talking about? I came about? clean. I could have literally <laughs> said nothing and I could have just waited till next month and you would have been like, I thought you said. And I would have been like, huh, huh, I told you, you didn't have to know. Yeah, we would have got and around to next clean. week's episode and I'd have been like, what's, what's going on? What's going exactly. on? Exactly. So I decided to come clean now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, and technically we should blame my mother because when I came back and I was like, I could have sworn that I had the permit in my drawer. Mm-hmm. And she said, I said it was a receipt with another piece of paper attached to it. Oh, but take me to her away. Uh, so, uh, first of all, it's probably in the garbage somewhere. Why is your mother in your house? That's the question. My mother is in my house because she came to do my laundry. Why is she rummaging through your drawers to find your drawers? Why Why is she doing this? <laughs> why? My mother comes to my house once a month because she likes to do my laundry. <sighs> yeah, we're going to leave that alone. That's her love language. The same reaction y'all just had? Because I heard y'all. I heard y'all through the airwaves. And you know what? That's the same reaction I'm having right now. Y'all can have that reaction. That is my mama's love language. And who am I to deny her? The opportunity to love on me as much as she wants to in that manner. And throw away your shit. I mean, you know, she learned her lesson <laughs> this time because I kind of, okay. I kind of, mm-hmm. I didn't mm-hmm. spaz because she's mm-hmm. my mother, but I was like, this is what I mean. Well, you can't just be throwing things away, but I'll check it with me. And then she's like, you're right, you're right. You did tell me that the last time. Masari, uh, masari. Uh, 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 so, uh, uh. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> How are you, Jade? <sighs> I'm tired. Daylight savings, I did mm. not sign up for this. I did not. I don't know if you signed up for this. Uh-huh. I did not sign up for this. <laughs> I am weary. Okay. Yeah. It's Why weird. is it midnight? We're supposed to feel like we have so much extra time because we fell back. 
it just feels so weird. I wake up pretty refreshed in the mornings, and then by five o'clock, I'm depressed. <laughs> You know why it's you're like, depressed? What's happening? Because it looks like it's midnight outside. What's happening? I would not be so opposed to it if it wasn't as dark. Why is it so dark outside? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's so dark that you feel like, even though it's only 5 o'clock, it feels like it's 9 o'clock. The thing is, if they get rid of it, like, which is what they're trying to do, they're trying to get rid of it, this will become the norm. Like, it will, like, gradually get dark by 5 o'clock, so... It won't drastically do it. It will happen minute by minute over days and weeks and months or whatever. We haven't gotten to that point yet. This is trash. Absolutely. This right here is trash. Basura. (laughs) Garbage. I did not sign up for this. Yeah. I don't know who opted me in. Sometimes some of y'all be signing me up for these email lists because Uh. random ass people be emailing me (laughs) things and I know I did not sign up for. (laughs) And I wholly believe it's some of y'all that be doing it. Stop. This I did not sign up for. Arizona and Hawaii got it right. They did. They didn't opt They don't in. do this. They didn't opt the into Caribbean, this. I know Antigua don't do it. I mean, not that Antigua has to do it, but Antigua don't do it. And they be like, you guys fall. I mean, I understand all that day. And I be like, me either. <laughs> they don't have seasons, one. They sure don't. And two, right on the equator. Hey, yo, I be in the Caribbean sometimes, depending on when I'm there. And he calls me rich auntie, but go ahead. It's the Caribbean. We're not talking about the south of France here. We're talking about the Caribbean. Mm. A hop, skip, and a jump, okay? When I'm there, sometimes, like in the dead of the summer, It'd be like 9.30 at night and sun is shining oh, bright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. And humidity is on 1,000. You know, so. Eh. It's not fun. How was, your, how was your day? My day, I'm actually on vacation this week. Woohoo! I don't know how much of a vacation it is. I did go to the shore, the Jersey Shore, down in your neck of the woods for a couple of days with the wife to, you know, to rekindle and enjoy without the children, which was necessary right but uh like i haven't i'm like i'm i don't feel like i'm on vacation since i've been back it's been nothing but errands the child is getting ready to go to middle school so we've been doing like all sorts of random in person and virtual tours picking them up from school dropping them off at school like it's just you know just life they call me Aaron daddy Aaron daddy <laughs> that's what i do <laughs> you know that's my life that's my life these days because <laughs> all I see in my mind is you just looking frazzled. Frazzled with all day. Children hanging off for you. <laughs> Your wife in the back being like the personification of calm, cool, and collected. Yeah, okay. And you're just like. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's it's okay. It's just loads of errands. Oh, wait. You know what we got to do before we even continue? Because people don't really make it to the end of the episode. Okay. I think we should let people know. That they only got a couple more episodes out of us before we take a break. Word. Yeah, actually, so, this is actually a great break. Usually, we take a break around the holidays because y'all ain't listening. Yeah, nah. But this is for good reason. We are revamping. Woo! Revamping is going to be real exciting when we come back, I think. It at is. Least. It is. I think it's going to be exciting when we come back. So, I don't know if we have one or two more episodes after this one, but just know that. After Thanksgiving, in total, y'all not hearing from us till 2024. (laughs) Giving y'all that heads up right now. Maybe. I might drag her kicking and screaming to give y'all a little bit of a bonus or something, but we'll see. And when he says kicking and screaming, just know he means kicking and screaming, okay? Because we are tired, okay? I'll be in there with a full attitude, lit out, pouting, like, because Mayan said. So I'm just letting y'all know that right now. I don't think they understand what it takes to give them, without fail, weekly episodes of this listen edited pretty decently most of the time and like just laughs from top to bottom like i don't know i don't know what they think this is it takes a little bit of effort we have survived power outages (laughs) failed electronics listen audio dropping in the middle of a conversation and both of us just pretending we know and hear what the other person yo, is saying. Yo, yo, sometimes sometimes neither one of us hearing, but yet we're still carrying on the conversation. We're still carrying on the conversation. And then I somehow edit it together to make it seem like something. So, we need a break, y'all. Yo, one time, I think we had recorded for like 20, 30 minutes and the shit was not recording. Oh, yeah. And we yeah. had to start over the whole entire yeah, episode. we had to start the whole thing over. <laughs> 
and and it was and it actually gold. turned out like, better. It turned it out better. It did turn out better. That's what I was gonna say. So it was gold <laughs> when we started, right? And we was both mad. Like we was both like, oh my god, we're not gonna be able to. Uh. Yo. And then not only did we do amazing, it was better than the first time around. So, good. so, so things good. happen for a reason. Right. So. We say all that to say that we will be taking a break. Um, you probably get one or two episodes out of us after this one, or probably just one episode out of us after this one. Right. And then we will be back in 2024. Y'all see us. We'll be dropping some stuff because we got to get y'all prepared for what's coming in 2024. But we just wanted to let y'all know that oh, right yeah. now. Y'all like me cussing her out, so we're going to definitely get to that because, you know, she be trying me. This one. This one right here. First of all. Trying first of all. me. Just lying. Like, you, I thought we had this conversation about you lying. Like, I just, you got No, stop. we had this conversation about you lying. I don't lie. I'm not lying. I'm telling facts. I don't lie. That's I it. am one of God's staunchest <laughs> angels. Okay? He tell you that himself. You see how she okay? had to pause because she had to figure out how to pull these words out because that wasn't flowing no, very well. It wasn't flowing. And angel don't really go well together. <laughs> it doesn't and flow. So it was just kind of like, I didn't want to say like soldiers. Really what happened was I didn't want to say soldiers because I'm tired of the battles. Mm-hmm. You know what she I mean? was dodging. She didn't know if lightning was going to come strike through her window. First of <laughs> all, first of all, <laughs> leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> Like, mad disrespectful for absolutely no Oh, reason. man. Okay. So, we're going to start this off real, real, real serious. Because our fellow Virgo queen is in trouble. She's having problems. And I got to put on my oracle hat. Because I feel like bad things about to happen <laughs> to Mr. Darius <laughs> the Abuser Jackson. Okay? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I want to know... Who the men are in Kiki's life because this man would have been finished. I'm when I tell you finished, he would have been finished. Let me tell you something. The fact that he's still walking around and he could still post is a problem for me. He's finished now because the internet has already let him know that outside is not where he wants to be. Because <laughs> if we see him outside, it is on site for multiple people. How dare you? How dare you attack? Lauren Kiana Palmer. Listen. How dare you? Is her middle name Kiana? I don't know. Yeah, it oh, is. It is. is. It? This is, is real. It? This is, is real. It? This is, is real. It? This isn't sure? me making it up. Yeah, sure? it's not me making it up. <laughs> it's not me making it up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What I sent you or what we saw at the same time was that she was filing for custody of the child and that she wanted a, a restraining order from this man. Yes. And she has since been granted a temporary restraining order from him. And That's right. That's right. He can't have any contact. He has to stay 100 yards away from her and he can't have no visitation with the baby. That's the part that I feel horrible about. Because I don't know where people... Like, gosh, it's so hard, I guess, to judge who you're about to have a child with. And so a lot of women end up in this space with fathers that are not necessarily in the kids' lives for... Whatever reason, whether it be willing or not willing or whatever. So I feel bad for the kid. However, when I saw them stills, no, sir, you don't need to be nowhere around her or her baby. Nope. No, sir. That's not what we're doing in the streets. His raggedy ass, filthy ass hands around Lauren Kiana Palmer's neck. Did you see that in those stills? It looked like, like, so I saw a picture of her on a couch and he's like over her like choking her or something like that i'm like no 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 do i have to take a flight to la because since where where we do that at like you have no home training what is this apparently they don't because then his funky ass brother got on his twitters and was basically alluded without naming any names that kiki is abusive and manipulative and the whole story will come out okay to which kiki's mama who we don't ever hear we don't ever see her nor hear her <laughs> had to come out and be like you raggedy summer <laughs> well i we i do hear her because i do listen to her podcast from time to time so i do i do hear her and she is a virgo so you know I don't think he wants none of the smoke from any of this. Like, cause he don't. this is gonna this is gonna get worse before it gets better. I can tell. He already. deleted it. I just want to know. In this situation, even if we don't know, like people will always say, "There's her story, his story, and the truth." 
I personally think Kiki's story is the truth only because we got stills, okay? We see mm-hmm. evidence of it. Right. Why would you stick your langly ass neck out to defend your brother when you know right. that some of what she's saying is true? Right. Maybe not to the extent in which she's saying it in your mind because your brother's telling you his side of the story. But you know, like, so you are condoning abuse. Right, right. I hope you never work again in Hollywood. Unbelievable. I hope Issa never puts you in another project because the reality is after Insecure, homie, that was it. And we don't even, I don't even remember what you was called in Insecure. I just knew you had a crooked <laughs> tooth and I was like, I don't like him. I mean, speaking of that, like, I have a thing. How I found my therapist was just by looking at her picture. I was like, vibes, vibes, right? And so, I get the same vibes from people. Like, I never got great vibes from him or his brother. Me I, neither, to be but, honest. But Kiki said that she enjoyed him, and so we had to go along for the ride. If she liked it, we loved it. <laughs> Until I rolled, you know I, I, mean? I, pulled that, I pulled that back window down, and I rolled my ass right out. Because we're not rocking with this no more. We're not. I stopped rocking. I didn't care. Right, I didn't even learn the man's name up until this point. To be a hundred percent honest with you, I was calling him the father of Kiki Palmer's baby because I didn't care to know that man's name. He's not relevant in anything. Okay, right. I learned his name once I heard that he was putting the pause on Kiki because oh, so now you got to be on Jade's personal hit list of assholes. So you join the illustrious mm-hmm. list of the Chris Browns and you know what I mean, like the Elon Musk, yeah. like the people that I truly disdain. I already right. knew he wasn't shit when it came to the Usher concert. <laughs> right, exactly. Oh, that we could get to that. All I want is for Keith Lee to go see him real quick. That's that's what real I want. Quick. That's that's what I need. Real quick. Cause see y'all real forget too. Keith real Lee, quick. former <laughs> MMA fighter. Keith Lee got them hands. That's what Keith Lee be saying listen. to y'all. Keith Lee always say, you know, I I'm not trying to get out of character. He's trying to let y'all know that right. his hands and feet <laughs> Deadly weapons. Our weapons. <laughs> Deadly weapons. Our weapons. But yeah, this goes to show, like, people don't be looking, people be looking at red flags and be swearing they're green. Because it's like, when you got someone that is going to be controlling in that way, it's only certain that other types of abuse is right around the corner, you know? So, listen, I don't, I don't rock with that. Like, I don't own you. I don't own my woman and my all that type of stuff like i don't own you you do what you want to do there's consequences for things that you do but like i'm not out here trying to stop you from doing anything do what you want to do i'm gonna act like i'm dr phil aka an unlicensed (laughs) therapist and say that this is why i tell women that you have to be with people that are evenly yoked this is not a gentleman that was evenly yoked with kiki in any way shape or form other than they ran in the same circles his brother's in hollywood and here he is she said that in February 2022, he became enraged when she showed him a bikini photo of herself while they were at a friend's party. Just him. She didn't send it to nobody, just sent it to him. Right. Davia spent the rest of the night yelling at me, not letting me sleep so he could keep yelling at me. Uh-uh. In the bedroom, he slams me on the floor and slaps oh my head from my side God. to side. The next morning, he was standing oh at the bottom of the God. stairs near the front door, screaming at me as I was coming down the stairs. When I was almost at the bottom of the stairs, he grabs me around the neck and body slams me back into the stairs. Oh, my God. Nah, I can't I can't hear stuff like this. This is oh, so annoying. This is so this is so annoying. I wish the worst for him. I do. Oh, absolute worst. Absolute worst. Scarily enough, after this whole thing dropped that she was filing a restraining order and temporary sole custody of the baby, this asshole posted on his social a picture of him and the baby, basically saying, like, Leo, daddy loves you. I'll see you soon. Mm. What kind of psychotic shit is that? Mm. Once they issued the temporary restraining order, they took a handgun from him. I guess he's licensed to carry. Right. So he had to turn his handgun in. Right. Let me tell you something, Darius Jackson. Something happens to Lauren Kiana Palmer. We still on Yolanda Saldivar's ass. She can't get out of prison no time soon because we gonna send her right back. You, are, Kiki's on that level. Mm-hmm. He also posted a future meme or something like that and something with Tristan Thompson. I'm like, and this is crazy. And he posted something where people showed. Have you ever you, you've watched the show The Boys on Amazon Prime? Yes. 
Yeah. Like the uh, way with I, the, the superheroes. Listen, I have not gotten through that show. That show's a lot for me. It I is have, a lot. I have little children, and I also am always scared that they're going to come running into the room. And, I, and I, yo, when I tell you the opening scene of, I think it was last season or whatever the last season was, I said, I can't watch this show. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I, I don't, I don't know. This is not, this is too much for my heart. Like, I can't Meanwhile, watch this. Meanwhile, me. Let me go get some popcorn. <laughs> um, he posted a, he posted a carousel. I don't know if it's still up. Of like with him and the baby. And then at the end, there was a short video of like something that Homelander was saying from the boys. And for those who don't watch the boys, not to I'm not spoiling anything, but Homelander is like the anti hero hero. Like you don't like him at uh-huh. all. So for him to right. post something with Homelander who is psychotic, let's know that he is psychotic. He there's is no also reason psychotic, yeah. No one who watches the boys looks at it and says, Out of all the characters, that's who I relate to. <laughs> what a wholesome show. Nobody says Oh, you know what? I want to be like Homelander when I grow up. <laughs> Nobody says that. Nobody. He's literally the uh, bad guy. Like, nobody. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I wish for nothing but despair for him and his brother. Mm. I'm not going to get their parents involved because I don't... Sometimes kids stray from their parents. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping that his mama going to sit him down like, you did what? And his daddy going to sit him down and knock some sense into him because you should never put your hands on a woman. Ever. Mm-mm. Especially Mm-mm. Norman Keanu Palmer. This is trash. Does this he is... not understand? He don't understand. He don't understand. I feel like Snoop about to get involved. Like, I just feel like so many people are about to get involved yeah. in this. I can already see. This is going to get real bad. I could tell. I can already tell. Oh, it's definitely going to get bad. We just heard this news, but it's going to get real bad. I, I know it. I could tell. I'm just, wow. Either way, we send Kiki our support and yes. love. Not that she needs it because she has an abundance of it. Correct. But... If she needs somebody, Kiki girl, I'm just a TikTok, Instagram away. Just let me know. I'll get on a flight real quick. Ready. Go for the kneecaps. That's right. <laughs> My God. Mm, mm, mm. Just a week of bad news. Someone who's not having a good week, and I never thought we would be having a conversation about them other than me saying that I'm going to give them buku babies, are uh, Beyonce's dancers, Lay Twins. Mm-hmm. Right. Did you hear about this? I saw them pop up on the socials, but I didn't really look too tough. So some woman got on French TikTok. Oh, word. And basically said that Laurent, first of all, this last name is so me, so he has to mad me. His last name is Bourgeois. His, Laurent It's not La- Laurent. I mean, Laurent. First, Laurent. Laurent. Uh, come on, Bourgeois. man. Come on. Get it together. Um, Fathered and abandoned... 37 children. <laughs> Wait a second. Two things. She's not the mother. Two things, two things, two things, two things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When do you have the time? And secondly, how the hell does she know the number is 37? How does she know that? It's what she claimed. How she know that? And the internet does what the internet does. And they ran with it. I knew we couldn't trust them twins. <laughs> Beyonce thought that they was innocent. Look at him out here having 37 babies by multiple women. They're just out here spreading his seed. Mm. So Laurent decided to get on his Instagram live and talk about the allegations. Basically, he called them ridiculous. Okay. Told the woman to find another target. He says, my image is way too clean. And if you find my 37 kids, tell them I love them so much. If they need a daddy, I'm here. That's right. Then he's like, give me the baby mama's names. Where they at? I want to see the babies. I want to see what they look like. But I need you guys to understand. Let's do 10 babies. That's a lot. 37, you guys are crazy. This is where I realized the world is nuts. Now I understand why people and big artists talk less online. Mm-hmm. Now I was with Laurent for a couple of minutes until he said something about, now if she were Asian, it'd be a different story because he wants Asian babies and Asian babies would be so beautiful. He could have left that whole little tangent that he had about wow. that. Wow. Okay. We can pause real quick. I literally just had this conversation with my wife. We was in H and M, and you know, at the H and M counter, they got the big, mm-hmm. big posters mm-hmm. right up behind mm-hmm. the um, register. I mm-hmm. was looking at this Asian model. And I was like, "Damn, what great bone structure!" Yo, when I tell you Blasian babies, amazing. No, they're they're 
beautiful. I mean, what a great I'm a mixture be, of people. I'm not gonna hold you when you mix black with anything. Nine <laughs> times out of ten. Oh man, superb. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, good. Out of this world. Like, so good. We are definitely the sauce. You know what I mean? Like you, like it. it rarely, gotcha. rarely do we miss. You know but, what I mean? Yeah. What I will say is the Blasian combination is amazing. So. I, I, gonna hold you on that go ahead he didn't need to say it out loud <laughs> he, did, he definitely he could have kept that in the group chat with him and his brother and the yeah. other dancers yeah because yeah. they kind of like negated everything that he was saying <laughs> but that's your baby daddy that's one half of your baby daddies what you mean he sure is because honestly i was like listen i'd give you maybe number 38 37 <laughs> oh so you, you're wilding because you know three. if we're yeah. assuming he's at 37 we are not assuming anything because I mean, he would literally have to have sex so often in order for this to happen. Not really. Not really. With different women. When you think about it, if you in a different city every night, he, he could knock out the 37 in a year. He could. He can. No, I'm not saying he can, but that, a year is a <laughs> long time, though. Because you have to calculate rehearsals. Yeah, yeah. Dinners, like when, you know, be it yeah. like we got to do, you got to calculate all these other life things that are happening. You know what I mean? It's uh-huh, not like uh-huh. they get off the stage and then it's like, all right, boom, but the, let's go hit something and then. But the question is for you, Jade, how long you think it takes? For what? For him to do what he needs to do. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure women are literally <laughs> offering him their uteruses. I'm pretty sure. Like you? Because I damn sure would be like, hey, so what are we, what are we doing? Sign me up. <laughs> and double bonus like you ain't oh man but everybody's not me mm. and some women try to play coy and cute and you know <laughs> not me mm. i'm gonna say i mean i don't believe it but i don't believe it either is it possible yes but i just don't think he is the one that's doing it side note that's kind of similar and it was not in our notes i did see something the other day about a woman who was 23 years old and already has I want to say 27 children, but not how you think. No way. No way. She is married to a millionaire, and she wants to have 100 children with him. And so basically, they pay surrogates, multiple surrogates at a time, to have their baby. So they literally had, like... Who allows this? Obviously, they're not in America. But they have one daughter that she gave birth to naturally, all right. the other babies are their genetic makeup, oh, but were carried through God. gestational, gestational carriers. carriers. Wow. And like, I think they said 20 out of the 27 were born in like the same year. No way. Like, come on. So it's feasible. <laughs> Do they all live in the same house? Yeah. She spends $90,000 on child care a month. I mean, I guess I'm glad that they all live in the same house because can you imagine if these children were spread all over the place? And their father's in jail. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how How yeah. is this happening? Every time she goes, she gets a cup? I, I'm assuming so. <laughs> Christina Oatzirk and her husband, Gallup, welcomed their first child together, a boy named Mustafa, in March last year. In April, Mariam was born. And two days later, twins Alice and Aaron followed. Four months later, Mehmet arrived, and in November came Lachman. Little Olivia is the most recent arrival, born in January. No, the mom is not a freak of nature. These babies were born to surrogates. Christina and Gallup, who live in Georgia near Russia, are so addicted to having kids, they want at least 100. This was written in 2021, so they've added since this wow. article. Wow, wow. But at the time that this particular article was written, they were already parents to 11 little ones, but once expand their brood, by 89 using surrogates they pay from their deep pocket Mm -mm. so again people know something that we don't know people are trying to repopulate this earth that's so overpopulated i don't understand they know something and i need to know what they know oh i I need to they have 22 children now excuse me this is the most recent article they have 22 children now and she's 26 yeah i need to know i need to know what what's happening i need to know yeah plain and simple yeah isn't that crazy i I mean, obviously they're paying for help and she don't touch those children. Half those children. You know what's crazy? I thought about this. Some of these kids aren't even going to get to know each other because there's so many of them. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I don't know. I don't know. If they all live in the same place, same community, something, at least 
they get to know each other. Like, I don't want them to be separated. And then all of a sudden, when they're adults, they find that they have this connection and then they're connected in a way that is ungodly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I don't think, I mean, I think they'll know that they're related, but I feel like with so many children, there's going to be like facts like these twins don't talk to, you know what I mean? Like, because there's too yeah. many of them. It's right, way too right. many. Like, that shit is wild. Yeah. That shit is yeah. wild. Anyway, moving right along. I'm sorry. I, the 37 kids triggered that. Tangent. It, it, <laughs> Triggered that, and I forgot that we actually have a show to do. (laughs) So Nelly and Ashanti are back together. And under normal circumstances, I would not care. But I have seen every tooth in Nelly's mouth since him and Ashanti have gotten back together, and I love that for them. Janae, I love this for them. I really do. I genuinely love this for them. There are certain people that you just believe need to be together. Yes. And the fact that, you know, it's been, what, 10 years in between their last time they broke up into the time that they're together now. And I guess they've fixed whatever they needed to fix. I just hope that they can sustain and actually make this be something genuine and last forever. You know, I just love I love this for them. So apparently the divide was around the same time when they were together. Ashanti did an interview where she said she hoped to get engaged and be married soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Around the same time, Nelly did an interview where he said he's married to his career. He's married to mm-hmm. the music. And that caused mm-hmm. their whole, like, Ashanti was like, well, pack it up and go, buddy. Right. And that's when he moved on and she moved on. I would yeah. like to point out that when Nelly was at that versus where she was at with um, Fat Joe and, and Ja Rule <laughs> and everybody clowned Nelly, like, Nelly won his own thing back. Ashanti not coming back. Who's laughing now? Because Nelly spun the block and got his girl. I think Nelly looked over and was just like, oh, okay. And I think at that moment, that's when all of this started. Oh, yeah. At that moment. It definitely started. So the thing about it is, circling back to the reason why they supposedly broke up, this is part of the reason why some of y'all, I can't say all, but some of y'all end up losing situations that are not necessarily worth losing. Something that could potentially have been something, and you lose it over nonsense. All that warranted was a proper conversation and everybody coming to understanding as to what is going on here and then taking it from there. Maturity level is needed on everybody's part, but look what they're doing now. Like, they could have, they wasted 10 years. 10 years. I mean, Ashanti, Ashanti, I keep telling y'all, Ashanti look amazing. No, so she does. It's not about that. It's the fact now that she's, she's old. She's in her 40s now. Like, she it takes, it's, people was asking him, yo, are you going to give Ashanti the baby? And he was like, I'm on it. I'm on it. And so. I have been, on TikTok, I keep coming across, I keep falling into this, like, you know, really, if you look at a TikTok video for more than 1.5 seconds, TikTok thinks that's what you want to see. Yes, exactly. So you got to scroll fast. Because if you don't scroll <laughs> fast, they're going to bombard you with whatever it is. You just blink that. All I'm going to say, guys, if there's any gentlemen listening, do not look at workout videos. I'm just saving you right now. Don't look at any workout videos. If you're going to because... look at workout videos, look at women working out. Please, just oh, do God. that. All right. No, Jesus I Christ. <laughs> I cannot. All I know is that I have literally seen... The whole entire inside and out of Nelly's mouth (laughs) since they have gotten back together. This man has not stopped smiling. This is amazing. From ear to ear. Love that. You can't say the same about Ashanti because her ass is always laughing and her laugh is big and she opens up her mouth. She laughs from the soul. So you can't say that about her, but I can tell she's happy too. But she looks very happy. She's very happy. I'm not going to take that away from her. But it's just hilarious to me because. I, I'm going to send you pictures. Every picture I see of Nelly <laughs> is a goddamn Colgate commercial, okay? Because them veneers is veneering. You hear me? Veneering, that mouth yeah. is, huh? Like, he is happy and in love. <laughs> and he's not letting y'all play with his woman. Because I saw something where, like, they was on a stage and somebody went to go stand next to her. It's like some other guy. I don't know if it was, like, right. I, the guy. I don't think the guy was trying to, like, push up on her. I don't think he was trying to be that disrespectful. Right. But the way Nelly kindly maneuvered him to the other side so that he could stand (laughs) between him and Ashanti, one was smooth, and two, let me know that he's not playing about her this time around. (laughs) The thing about Nelly, I think right now, he's in a different space in his life. Like, he sold his music catalog. So he's very much retired. He's here focused on his life. 
and his woman and like all of that. Like so, I I love this for them. I hope they can make it the long haul. Like I, I'm I'm very happy for him. I do too. I, I think they them. can. I, I hope them. I hope they make it. Lori Harvey and Damson Idris broke up. <laughs> I mean, another one bites the dust. I like. We know how this goes. We we know how it goes. I think Lori Harvey's end game is gonna be some man that none of us has ever heard about, but has a lot of money. More than likely. She was just like, uh, I don't know. There has to be some sort of contract that makes it so that she doesn't make it a year with these people. It's got to be. I know she definitely makes them sign some sort of NDA. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to date that girl. I mean, even if she pushed up on me right now, if I was a single person, I mean, I would give her a second look, but I don't know that I would actually involve myself with this, honestly. You turning down Lori Harvey? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know that I would make it a thing where we're together like if we're gonna enjoy a great time sure why not but I, are we together i don't think so i mean poor damson i guess i don't know i i am not neither one of those people virgo damson yay virgo but neither one of those people are my ministry <laughs> so you know <laughs> what we do they said it's amicable, so we'll see. Who's Every, next? They all say it's amicable. Don't nobody ever say, I hate that bitch. And I hate that dude. Because they can't. Like, yeah, like, come on. Who's next? Who's Jeezy next? did an interview with No, I'm Long. saying oh, before with, we go into oh. Jeezy. Before we go into Jeezy, who's, she, who's, she, who's her next conquest? Jeezy. <laughs> and Jeezy <laughs> is here for it. Jeezy, Jeezy is here, here for it. it. Jeezy. <laughs> if she don't spend the block yes, on Diddy. See. Because Carisha and Diddy not together, but then Carisha might beat her ass. Because Carisha seems a little territorial about Diddy, even though they're not together. So I, mm. I don't know. Carisha's bad shit. Honestly, the world is her oyster. She's a beautiful woman. She has money, or her father has money. She don't got to worry about nothing. Right. You know. Yeah. She could date anybody at this point. Yeah. So Jeezy did an interview with Nia Long, talking about his talking about Jeezy. Now, for one. <laughs> Nia Long seems so random of a choice <laughs> to do something like this. Right. But right. two things that I took from this. One, I feel like Jeezy was low-key dirty macking on Nia Long, and I can't blame him. Why, why would I blame this man? Like, Nia Long? Nia Long? Why not? You you done told everybody you moving on from Jeannie Mai. <laughs> Listen, why not? Why, so why not? I think, for those who don't know, let me tell you why Jeezy was dirty macking. Nia Long, they was talking about cheating. And he basically was like... Why would men do such a thing? Yeah, he was like... <laughs> this is what he literally said. Quote, real niggas don't cheat. Hell nah. It's something in us that makes us want to be right across the board. Dirty macking. Because he know New Year's ex was out here cheating with everybody. Yeah. Everybody wife that he worked with. He was like, listen, I got the bait. And the fish is right there. I have to reel this in. I can't take a chance. I just want to know. And I don't know. I have to watch it. I don't know if they explained to us how Nia Long got the job. But I want to know. Why was Nia Long chosen? This is the question that I have. Why was Nia Long chosen? Jade. Dirty Mackin. Nia could be my auntie. I'm just saying, if the circumstances were similar, I am taking my shot. I am not negating that, and I am not <laughs> arguing with that. Because, again, Nia Long is bad. She's been bad my whole life. Okay, whole She's life. one of those people that has just been beautiful and bad my whole entire life. Okay, <laughs> I'm not taking that from her at all. I just need to have a conversation with Sir Jesus Maximus and find out from him... <laughs> How we arrived at Nia Long being the person How? that interviewed you. You know what nah. I mean? Somebody said, who would you like in this interview? He like just kind of threw it out there. And she actually probably bit. And that's probably what happened. And I don't know. I don't know. You. They Obviously, they weren't like sitting together. They were sitting across from each other. Right. But they kind of matched in like what they were wearing. Yeah. Her and Jeezy yeah. make a very attractive couple. I'm not going to hold you. Now, I could have been Mrs. Jeezy. I keep telling y'all this. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> but I did not, you know, I just didn't feel that vibe with him. But, uh, is that right? Yes. So I had to mm. calmly, and I had to also tell him, I was actually still in my relationship at that time with Michael mm-hmm. B. And I was like, you know, uh, appreciate you, but right now uh, I got to see what this goes with Michael. Yeah. But I appreciate it. These delusions. This is why people are getting to know I, you a little bit more as we get ready to go all, on break. I, I see it. I see it. Okay. I'm going to have right. to get. 
No, no. You're prepping for how truthful you're going to be when we come back. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm going to get Kathleen to record a voice memo (laughs) and explain to y'all how I almost became Mrs. Jeezy. Uh Uh-huh. She was uh there. Uh Uh-huh. She heard the whole thing. Just saying. Okay. Anyway, they look great together. I do not blame Jeezy for using Nia for the interview. I also don't blame him for Dirty Mac, and I would Dirty Mac if I was there and it was Nia Long. I'm not going to hold you. I mean, I even think he was a little bit nicer about it, than because I, I would have probably did the full court press. This was a little light work on Jeezy's end. You know what I mean? Word, word. I probably would have been full-blown, you know, because I know your circumstances is a little different, Ma, but uh-huh, I'd have uh-huh. did the whole thing. <laughs> But I really want her to be with somebody that's actually good for her. Me too. I want her to have so, the best. It is what it is. I I don't blame Jeezy. Anybody in that position would be doing the same thing or more. So Listen, I, I'm here for it. So easy. it is what it is. Sag Astra, done. Done. Hopefully shows will be back. People will start promoting things again. Euphoria not coming yeah. back to 2025. They're going to have to remind me. <laughs> They're going to have to remind me, and HBO Max is not going to have to keep the price good. You know what they're going to have to do? Figure out a way to sell me on the fact that these 40-year-old people are high school children. That's what they're going to have to do. That's what they're going to have to do. They definitely may have to do a little time jump because... (laughs) And they're going to have to remind me because I'm going to (laughs) forget. I'm, I'm not gonna hold you. I'm wait. I'm, I'm gonna forget. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna forget. Zendaya can do no wrong. She can't. Virgo the, Queen. Listen, she can't do no wrong. But I'm just gonna say I'm gonna need them to remind me, okay? <laughs> because I'm gonna forget. I feel like we still ain't gonna get. They said that oh, this is gonna save the season or whatever. We ain't gonna get nothing until after the new year, and oh, it's gonna of be course. like. And it's usually so. Remember, I told y'all I used to work in television production or whatever. Usually, they have a whole bunch of episodes in the can. They're going to be right on the edge. Like, oh, we got one episode shot. Put it out. And then everybody's going to be scrambling. This is not going to be a great season for TV. That's all I'm saying. I'm telling you that that's going to happen, but there's going to be shortened seasons like they always do, like you said. Mm-hmm. We, we've been here before. And they also said that whatever they've agreed to is only for three years. Yeah. So, I mean, y'all, like, let's get it together. Yeah. Like, let's 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 get it together. I think that the execs had to come to the table because if they didn't, they stand to lose billions and billions of dollars. And so they had to salvage the season however they can. So I'm happy for them. I am happy to see television come back and films and all of that stuff come back to where it needs to be. So, you know, here we are. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I'm definitely with you on that. You know who got me fucked up? Oh, God. Everybody? Yes. Yes. <laughs> But <laughs> Disney Plus, do you have Disney Plus? I do. I do. I have children. Did you get the email from Disney Plus telling you that they was going to charge you $140 for the annual subscription? I didn't get that. I pay monthly, but I do have the double bundle. I have the one with uh, with Hulu. So I don't know what oh, that's okay. going to turn out to be. But I did get an email from Apple telling me how Apple One is going up by $5, which I'm very pissed off about. So, you know. You know what $5 for 12 months is? That's $60 extra. What are we talking about? Let me just explain to you how. <laughs> okay? Disney Plus had me all the way fucked up. Okay? <laughs> I was used to paying $79 for uh-huh. the year. Because I don't like that whole monthly shit. Just yeah. pay me, let me take it out and I can just move on about my business. Uh-huh. How y'all going to send me an email to go buy some prices is going up to $139.9? Almost double Disney? <laughs> for Disney Plus? <laughs> Y'all don't have Fillmore on there. Pepper Ann ain't have no type of so, reach. Okay, so then that's actually, what's that's, that's $60 too. It's going up by $5. That's the same thing as Apple. That's crazy. And they can kiss my black ass. <laughs> them and Apple, because I can't do both them bitches. Because Apple sent me something about Apple TV going up to $9.99. No. Mm-hmm. No. Kiss well, my ass. Well, no. I have Apple One. Uh, I cannot not have apple one i have all the kids storage in the terabytes of storage that i have in the cloud uh i have apple fitness apple tv plus oh like i mean they got me by the gonads but listen if i had all of that i'd probably be like "Mm, mm." no i don't i don't have all of that so do sister in this economy yeah in this economy and then i'm supposed to explain to these children that they don't have 
whatever they watch on them, Disney, because I don't even know what they watch. But uh, I'm when supposed to say, tell them why they don't have that? No, I can't. Because listen, when you, you know when you cancel, they ask you why you leaving and they put all the, you know, mm-hmm. they give you all the options. Right. I said other. I said, because y'all must have me confused with someone that has children. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> and in this economy to charge me mm. almost double. Yeah. You're bugging. You'll be See back. you never. You'll be back. When that joint drop to seventy nine ninety nine, <laughs> it's not gonna drop. What is drop. Apple? Get, what is Disney Plus giving me for one hundred and forty dollars? Right? Loads. Are they sending me new goggles so I can see everything in three D? There's loads of content on there, Jade. Loads. And you know what? YouTube is still free, and I can get nice little clips off of YouTube. <laughs> Disney got me fucked up. I had never been more appalled to get an email telling mm. me that they was raised. Usually, I ignore them. I'm like, oh, okay, that's not that bad. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. A hundred and forty dollars. Oh, I've come to the conclusion that literally everything on the face of the planet is going to charge me more money. I was talking to somebody and I'm like, the prices is going up, but the wages are staying the same. They are. How was the math? The math is not mathing. Yeah. Everything. Every every single thing is going up. Everything. Even down to the 7-Eleven. I used to get two bananas. For a dollar. <laughs> now it's two bananas for one fifty. I'm just saying. The fact that you're getting bananas from Seven <laughs> Eleven is a discussion that we will have to have in the new year because I want better for you. No, okay. okay. So serial okay, killer let shit. me explain. Again, let me explain. Sim- let me explain. Only a let serial me explain. killer. Let me explain. Bananas from Seven Eleven and me survives. Explain. All right. Explain serial killer. Okay, yeah, Jason Voorhees. So I get my coffee at Seven Eleven because y'all are not charging me Starbucks prices. I am not a star. I don't have the bucks. Okay. So I get to 7-Eleven and 7-Eleven has pretty great coffee. So I get my coffee there. So now also I get my groceries from Aldi. Okay. Aldi, first of all, if y'all didn't know, I used to go to, so we go to Aldi and then we go to Trader Joe's for certain things or whatever. I used to be like, man, look at Aldi coming to New York. Like, look at them trying to be like a cheap Trader Joe's. Come to find out. That Aldi family, mad rich. And guess what? They own Trader Joe's. <laughs> I told you that, yeah. I, mean, I was like, yeah. who knew? Who knew? Anyway, mm-hmm. so I get my bananas from Aldi. If you've ever been to Aldi, when you get them damn bananas, they as green as the trees outside. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. lucky if they ever turn yellow. I don't like bananas, but continue. I'm just saying. So sometimes I'm waiting for them to ripen. And so when I go get my coffee in the morning, I'm going to get my banana. At 7-Eleven. Listen, there's always a rhyme to what I got going on. There's a reason and a rhyme. Okay? You want to know what I just heard? Nothing. Because you're not going to call me a serial killer. Serial killer. All right? I heard, I'm a serial killer. 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 You see what I can... Coffee from 7-Eleven. I could cut that right out the episode and then play it on a loop on a reel. Something. Because you just said it. You just said it. You could do that. But let me tell you what you're not going to do. Serial killer. You. I am not. You. I am not. I don't go to 7-Eleven <laughs> and buy coffee and eat bananas from 7-Eleven. Straight serial killer vibe. I really don't know what's wrong with any of what you just said. Okay. Okay. You go ahead, serial killer. That's something a serial killer would say, actually. <laughs> if I was a serial killer, you think thing. I would want to be seen? 7-Eleven yes. is a very visible place. What are you talking about? Sociopaths <laughs> would. So, yes. Yes, I, yes, I do. Now I'm a serial actually. killer and a sociopath. Yes. Jesus Christ. That's one of the traits of a serial mm-hmm. killer. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. I am just saying, I was going to talk about Joy Chavez, who is Bow Wow's baby mother, but I've decided I'm not interested enough in her, so I'm not going to do that. Bow Wow mad that she's supposedly dating Diddy? No, which Bow Wow, that's better for you. But (laughs) um, (laughs) no, it was a thing where she basically got on, I guess we're going to talk about it real quick. Mm -hmm. She got on her Instagram story, I want to say, to complain that her daughter, Shy, that she has with Bow Bow Wow, with Bow Wow doesn't want to be recorded. Like, she hates it. Like, she's not interested Beautiful. in, like, pursuing social media. Beautiful. And that bothers her because she's like, you know, you could be getting the bag at 12. No, thanks. So, yeah. So She mad that she can't be getting the bag. That's <laughs> literally, that, that was the point that I was going to make. So, yes, that's literally what it is. It had nothing to do with shy. You are not getting the bag with your 12-year-old. And, you're to- like, and that's really what that boils down to. Mm-hmm. So, you know. That's the end of that. Everyone's favorite thing is happening right now. What's that? 
Am I the asshole? <laughs> we should have some theme music for this. Why not? We really should. Okay. This one was submitted again by Ashley. Ashley keeps us in the Am I the asshole trenches. Because she too likes the mess. So shout out to Ashley. And it's all great. <laughs> now this one is... Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Am I the asshole for telling my 14-year-old daughter that she's average looking? Whoa. <laughs> That's the title. <laughs> Whose fault is that, though? Who is that? Who, is they, who are they shading? Who, who is that person shading? Okay. Because, listen, I, female 39, have a very insecure daughter, female 14, who has a depressingly unhealthy obsession with her looks. She often avoids mirrors and pictures because her mood instantly drains when she sees herself. Mm. She constantly asks her father and me if we think she's pretty, and we always tell her the same thing, that she's a beautiful girl inside and out. As I understand how most teenage girls are with their body image, as I was one at some point myself, my daughter's vanity is not only becoming exhausting to those around her, but I fear it's causing her to slowly lose herself. Right. Yesterday, I decided to sit her down to chat with her about this, to discuss what's bothering her, and to see if she's willing to visit a therapist. Yeah. She told me she didn't want to talk about it, but as her mother, of course I'm going to be worried about her, so I insisted. She finally agreed. Right. A few minutes into this conversation, she asked exactly this. Mom, I want you to be completely honest with me. This means no sugarcoating. The kids at my school think I'm ugly and say I look like a bird because I have a big nose. Do you really think I'm beautiful or are you just lying? I'm an honest person, so I gave her the most honest answer I had. I told her she was average looking like most people in the world are and that it's not a bad thing to have an average appearance. She immediately got up and left without saying a word and just went into her room for the rest of the night. Oh, boy. Today, she has been cold and distant, and I think I upset her, which wasn't my intention at all. Am I the asshole? Whew. So I really feel bad for this girl. And this is a little bit more serious than like a joking matter. She definitely needs therapy, like in the largest of ways, because these are the type of people that commit suicide. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is not this is not it. Social media is really a big detriment to these kids. And I don't know what I'm going to do with My kids, as they approach social media using age, but this, this is very, very disturbing to me. Secondly, you are supposed to lie to your children. I'm just saying, plain and simple, you, you supposed to, it's to protect them in certain ways. Most of the time you want to tell them the truth, but like there's certain things that, especially with a girl that is this fragile, I myself would have bought some time while trying to get her into therapy. What is this doing? What is this helping? Who is this helping? No one. Yeah, I'm very, very worried here. This is not, (laughs) this is not, sadly, this is happening for too many people right now. This is not normal. We shouldn't be living in this way and feel really bad for her. Anyone who says I'm an honest person, I'm a nice guy, I'm I'm just sarc- I'm dark witted or I like dark humor are typically assholes. Mm-hmm. So off the rip, you're an asshole. Yeah. Because if your daughter, you already know all these things about your daughter. Yeah. Not saying you're supposed to tell her she's the next Bella Hadid or whoever she looks up to, but to your point, you're supposed to lie to your daughter. Right. Or talk to her in a way that lets her know that you know. I wouldn't say you're average looking like everybody else. Bitch, nobody wants to hear that. Right. Nobody does. Nobody wants to hear no. I'm at your average looking at best. Especially with a girl that is this fragile when it comes to this particular thing and it being all about looks, you know? So As her mom, what you should do is if you wanted to be honest, even if she's not the most attractive, then you let her know that her looks are unique and should be celebrated. And those are the things that you love about her. And you want her to love those things about herself. Like, and you take those things that she doesn't necessarily like, right. and you let her know that those are beautiful, regardless of what anybody else thinks. Bring examples of all these supposedly beautiful people that people consider beautiful and point out those flaws and be like, this thing makes this person interesting. This thing makes this other person interesting. Also, in different parts of the world, different things are beautiful. Like, I don't want to... Okay. Listen. Go ahead. No shade to Adam Driver. He looks like a pound puppy. But so many women in this world think that that man is fine as shit. Perfect example. Perfect 
example. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he is the perfect because every time someone's like, oh my God, Adam Driver. And I'm like, he literally looks like the human embodiment of a pound puppy. Yeah. Y'all have to chill. Yeah. People love him. Yeah. And he loves himself. This is a situation you say, like, you know, you were talking about when you accuse me of being delusional about my former relationships. <laughs> This is a moment where you should allow your daughter to be delusional. Yeah, yeah. Because that's a confidence builder for her. It's also like even the people that they consider to be super beautiful and all of these things have super crazy insecurities about of course. certain things. Like it's 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 a thing. Like it's like, you know, everybody's different. And like I, this is something that I actually worry about a lot also. It's like I need to, and I do this as much as I can, but like, I need to be able to reinforce this stuff to my daughter as she becomes the age, you know, and so so that she knows that she's enough and that her opinion matters and others, you know, don't. Right. Yeah. I mean, she is a good people. I mean, you are a kid. You are a teen. Your brain is not fully functioning. You want to be attractive. You all those things are valid. But like, you know, at the same time. You got to pull from somewhere. You got to find that confidence somewhere. And that's not going to come from me. That's going to have to come from you. So like this was the perfect time for her to introduce affirmations to her daughter. Yes. Right. And like saying like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Yeah. And honestly, the the only person who matters when it comes to terms of defining what your beauty is, is you. Yeah. So let's work on these affirmations together. Yeah. You are the asshole. Your daughter deserves better because what are you talking about? I'm completely honest. You're yeah. talking to a teenage. You're not talking to another adult. Exactly. Also, why would you tell this to another adult as well? Like, come on. You and don't care wouldn't. about that person. That's the thing. You don't but care about thing, that though. person. You know she wouldn't say it to another adult because she don't want to get her ass slapped. Mm-hmm. But you want to say it to your daughter right. because you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like, make it make sense. And also, again, like I said at the beginning of this, who is this shedding? If this daughter is average looking, that means you and your husband or whoever also average looking. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? And I mean, I would have flipped it. I would have said, let me ask you a question because people always tell me, I hear things about myself all the time. Do you think I'm beautiful? And let her answer it. Mm. And let her tell you what she thinks is beautiful about you. Mm -hmm. And then you tell her what you think is beautiful about her. And that's something that you two practice together. I'm not even a parent. I have something called common sense. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is bad. This is really bad. I really feel I really feel bad for this girl. And I really hope she gets the therapy and the help that she needs. Am I the asshole for telling my daughter? Yes, you're the asshole. Man, I got some jokes because this oh, was too I do much. Too. This was too much. I do too. It's not as out of pocket and left field as it normally is, but See you know. you next period? Because I'm still on that. <laughs> Why didn't T Boz ever exfoliate? Because she only had left eye. She didn't want no scrubs. <laughs> Ryan, get off my phone. Get off my phone. Oh, okay. I was okay. No, let me start with this one. Mm -hmm. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Oh man, I know what a deer is that has no eyes, but what is a fish with no eyes? (laughs) I knew that one, I heard that one before. That's funny. What do you call Ooh, that tickle me. What do you call a marathon for pastors? You know Vance just ran a marathon. What do you call a marathon for pastors? Oh God. What do you call it, Ryan? A rev run. <laughs> Get off my phone. <clears throat> I bought a pair of shoes from a drug dealer this past week. Mm-hmm. But I'm tripping because I don't know what he laced them with. Mm, God. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> What's orange and sounds like a parrot? Oh, God. A parakeet? Carrot. Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> you may have done this one. I'm not sure. I'm sure I did. What's Forrest Gump's password? I didn't do this. Was Forrest Gump's password? Mm-hmm. I don't know. One Forrest one. Since since oh, shit. since that sounds a little bit like this, what do you call an Asian man that always has oh. correct change? Oh God, what do you call that, Ryan? Exactly. Get off my phone. 
Okay, this is my last one because uh-huh. I actually really like this one. Mm-hmm. How do you measure how heavy a red hot chili pepper is? How? Give it away, give it away, give it away. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Love that! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, that was my song back in the oh, day. Oh, man, you don't understand. You don't understand. Ooh, my TRL movie. days was next level TRL. All right. Yeah, Virgo funny. Season Show at gmail.com is the email address. And you can find us on social media at Virgo Season Show on everything TikTok. Instagram, I forgot the social mm, media mm-hmm, all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. Facebook, and that's it. Good, 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 good stuff. Anyway, before we go, you know, we have a friend, Camille, you know. Mm-hmm. She recently got her real estate license. Mm-hmm. Now she's my homegirl. Bye. I'm telling her that too. I'm telling her that too. <laughs> See you